The Adventures of Maddie, the Medieval Girl Knight Once upon a time, in a kingdom far, far away, there was a 14-year-old girl named Maddie. She lived in medieval times and had a burning desire to become a knight. However, being a girl, she was told it was impossible and that she could never achieve her dream. Undeterred, Maddie made a daring plan. She cut her hair short, dressed like a boy, and set out on an adventure to prove her worth and become a knight. She traveled through forests, crossed rivers, and climbed mountains, facing many challenges along the way. One day, Maddie came across a dragon that was terrorizing a nearby village. Without hesitation, she bravely fought the dragon and defeated it. The villagers were so grateful that they hailed her as a hero and told everyone about her bravery. News of Maddie's bravery reached the ears of the king and queen, who invited her to the castle for an audience. They were amazed at her bravery and decided to give her the chance to become a knight. Maddie trained hard and learned the ways of chivalry and combat. She quickly became one of the most skilled knights in the kingdom. Soon, Maddie was sent on a quest to save the princess who had been kidnapped by an evil sorcerer. She rode her horse through dark forests and across treacherous rivers, facing danger at every turn. But with her bravery and determination, she successfully rescued the princess and defeated the sorcerer. Maddie's bravery and skill did not go unnoticed. She became one of the most famous and loved knights in the kingdom. People would tell stories of her bravery and how she never gave up on her dream of becoming a knight, despite the odds against her. From that day on, Maddie continued to defend the kingdom and help those in need. She proved that it didn't matter whether you were a boy or a girl, what mattered was the courage in your heart and the determination to never give up on your dreams. Chapter 2 After her success as a knight, Maddie was tasked with an important mission. The kingdom was in danger as a group of bandits had stolen the legendary Sword of the King. This sword was said to have magical powers and was the source of the kingdom's strength and prosperity. Maddie knew that the bandits were dangerous and that it would be a difficult task, but she was determined to complete the mission. She set out on her trusty horse, determined to find the bandits and retrieve the sword. After a long journey, Maddie came across the bandits' hideout. It was a dark and foreboding cave, surrounded by cliffs and guarded by fierce warriors. Undaunted, Maddie approached the cave, ready to face whatever lay ahead. She fought her way through the bandits' defenses, using all her skill and bravery to overcome their traps and obstacles. Finally, she reached the inner sanctum, where the sword was kept. The bandit leader was there, waiting for her, and challenged her to a duel. Maddie accepted the challenge, drawing her sword and preparing for battle. It was a fierce fight, with the bandit leader proving to be a skilled opponent. But Maddie's determination and courage proved stronger, and she emerged victorious. With the sword in her possession, Maddie returned to the kingdom, where she was hailed as a hero once again. The king was overjoyed to have the sword back, and the kingdom's prosperity was restored. But Maddie knew that there would always be new challenges and adventures ahead. She had proven herself as a knight, but she was also an adventurer at heart, and she was eager to explore new lands, meet new people, and face new dangers. And so, with her sword by her side and her heart full of courage, Maddie set out on a new adventure, ready to face whatever lay ahead. Chapter 3 Maddie's latest adventure had taken her to a distant land, where she had heard rumors of an ancient temple that held a powerful artifact. This artifact was said to have the power to heal any injury, cure any illness, and even bring the dead back to life. Maddie knew that such power could be dangerous in the wrong hands, and so she set out to find the temple and retrieve the artifact before it fell into the hands of those who might misuse it. After a long and treacherous journey, Maddie arrived at the temple. It was an imposing structure, with towering columns and intricate carvings that told stories of the gods and goddesses of old. But Maddie knew that danger lurked within, and she proceeded cautiously. As she made her way through the temple, she encountered many obstacles and traps. But with her skill and experience, she was able to overcome them all, making her way deeper and deeper into the heart of the temple. Finally, Maddie came to a chamber where the artifact was said to be kept. It was a glowing orb, pulsing with a soft light that seemed to radiate healing energy. Maddie knew that she had to be careful, 
for such power could be dangerous in the wrong hands. As she reached out to take the artifact, she heard a voice behind her. Stop, thief! That artifact belongs to me! Maddie turned to see a group of robed figures standing behind her. They were the guardians of the temple, sworn to protect its treasures from those who would misuse them. Maddie knew that she had to convince the guardians that she meant no harm. She told them of her quest, of the dangers that the artifact posed in the wrong hands, and of her own experience as a knight and adventurer. The guardians listened, and after much discussion, they agreed to let Maddie take the artifact. They knew that she was honorable and brave, and that she would use the artifact wisely. And so, with the artifact in her possession, Maddie set out once again into the world, ready to face whatever challenges and adventures lay ahead. She knew that the power of the artifact was great, but she also knew that with great power came great responsibility, and she was determined to use it wisely and for the good of all. Chapter 4 Maddie had been traveling for many months, seeking new adventures and new challenges. She had crossed oceans, climbed mountains, and explored ancient ruins, always in search of the next great adventure. One day, as she was wandering through a dense forest, she heard a cry for help. Rushing towards the sound, she found a group of villagers being attacked by a pack of wolves. Without hesitation, Maddie drew her sword and leapt into action. She fought bravely, using her skills as a knight to fend off the wolves and protect the villagers. It was a fierce battle, with the wolves showing no mercy and Maddie pushing herself to her limits. But in the end, Maddie emerged victorious. The wolves were defeated, and the villagers were safe. They thanked Maddie profusely, offering her food, shelter, and whatever else she might need. Maddie was touched by their kindness, and she decided to stay with them for a while. She helped them with their daily tasks, shared stories and songs around the campfire, and learned more about their way of life. As she spent time with the villagers, Maddie began to realize that she was missing something in her life. She had traveled far and wide, faced many challenges and defeated many foes, but she had never truly felt at home anywhere. The villagers had welcomed her with open arms, and she felt a sense of belonging that she had never felt before. She began to wonder if it was time for her to find a new purpose, to settle down and build a life for herself. And so, after much thought and consideration, Maddie made a decision. She would stay with the villagers, help them build a new home, and protect them from any dangers that might come their way. It was a new adventure, but one that felt right to Maddie. She knew that there would be challenges and difficulties, but she also knew that she had the strength, courage, and skill to face them head on. And so, with her sword at her side and her heart full of determination, Maddie settled down to a new life, ready to face whatever adventures lay ahead. The End Do you want to hear more stories? Then hit the subscribe button to follow our channel, so you never miss another daily story. And keep listening now, as more stories will play shortly.